So what I'm getting to is there's a link between our psychology and the outside world. So my first thing I want to tell you is this, you're not broken. And why I created this evening is because what I find is hundreds, if not thousands, of people um, don't understand how the mind works. I always like to go back to original text because I don't like hand-me-down information. I didn't like it when I was a student and I definitely don't like it now I've got my own college. That in itself can lead you into isolation. So again, why, while I'm putting this on tonight, it's because it's perfectly normal within the context of the experience you're having. People live on social media the lives that they want you to think they've got. They're not going to post a picture up of their bank account with zero in it, um, you know, them looking wrecked. You have probably only ever talked about depression, treated depression, negotiated it, but what you're doing is you're talking about symptoms. What I'm teaching you tonight is what's causing it. I've identified 13 reasons for depression and only one of them is biological. So I, with compassion, feel very sorry for people that are suffering and this is all they've had. If you have any monster coming <coughs> after you, um, and some of you are smiling because you know exactly what I'm about to say, got any monsters coming after you, you go for your monster. Most people run for the hills. Now, I practice what I preach. I know how scary that is, especially if you have nightmares and this kind of thing. But, you know, um, healthy psychology is not where we're pretending we're okay. It's where we make sense of where we're not okay. It's really huge, this, and it is related to depression because you lose your self-approval. Um, or we don't get approval from people that we really want it from. Tons of strategies, what you can do, how you can apply it to your own experiences. So that said...